Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Janet Perkins, Perky Perkins, and today I am going to be doing a quick and easy look using just a handful of products to get you on the go. I'm a busy mom of two, running a household and having a full-time and plus job, so you always want to try to get your makeup done as soon as possible. Goof proof brow. Um, I normally like the thinner one, but I ran out, so I had to settle with this one today. But it still works pretty good. I like that it has the nice little tight edges. So next thing I do actually is I conceal. I'm going to be using today the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Um, I, it's a little bit um, liquidy, but it's very lightweight, so I like it. Um, what I like to do is make sure on my under eye area, it's nice and filled in around my nose area, since I'm not going to be doing all the other stuff, you know. I'm not going to be doing concealer on the top of of my powder foundation. Um, I am not gonna do my forehead, and right now I do have some blemishes down here, as you can tell. So, let me make sure. I know it's dabbed all over the place. I'm gonna dab them everywhere. Um, I'm gonna take my little Morphe sponge. I'm gonna dampen it, squeeze it. Just kidding. I'm gonna start. Blending it in. I just want to make sure it's not lifted or anything like that. For my under eye area, I do like to use normally the nice squirt uh, edge, clean edge, but otherwise, I just use the pointed. This will help kind of like a base for me so that everything in that area is a little bit brighter, a little bit more smoother because I'm going to set it with the um, Her Beauty sends you these nifty little thing. I really like how they actually put this little plastic to conceal. So this one. It's supposed to be a full, full coverage, conceal everything. Um, again, because of my age, I am 34 years old. That's why I put the concealer first. Now for my forehead, I'm not going to use this. I like it more light coverage because and I'm using my It's Cosmetic. Um, it's a CC Plus Ankle Buffing Foundation Brush. I do like, again, going over it over here just to make sure if there's any powder, which might be loose or clumpy or whatever. Just cleans it up. At least for me, I've always had the best results that way. What I'm going to do is contour. We got this um, in the March Boxy Charm boxes. As you can tell, I've been using it quite a bit. It, I love this con a Cover FX Contour. Um, this is the medium light. Um, it's really versatile. It has a finishing powder, has a brightener, has everything. Um, so for now, we're going to start off with our contour. I like using the little Morphe angle brush. This one doesn't have a uh, number but it came in one of those packs. 
It's supposed to be their vegan set that Ulta had on sale during the holidays. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna do a quick, easy look. So I'm not gonna overdo my bronze. Slash contour. I just wanna bring some life to my skin cause I already look pale as it is. I just lightly dust it so it has like a soft transition. And yes, if you see white, that is not powder, that's my gray hair. <laughs> um, like I mentioned in my first video, my thing is I want to show and help anybody that's new or beginning to make up. Next. I'm going to go into my Wonder Beauty Dust Till Dawn. I love this little guy. We got this um, in BoxyCharm again. Thank you BoxyCharm for sh giving me so many Wonder Beauty products. And that's how I became aware of Wonder Beauty and grew to love them a lot and started buying on my own. Um, but today, since it goes with my lipstick that I'm wearing, I'm going to go with Havana Nights as my blush. Tap, tap, tap. Beautifully blushed and bronzed and subtle. Next, I'm going to do my eyes. And most people are going, oh my god, why didn't you do your eyes first? It's going to be the messiest part, right? No, I'm going to make it simple. Again, my whole idea is to make it quick, easy, painless. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this contour. I'm going to take this contour shade right here and put it into my eye and then go into my other palette, my Dust to Dawn, and mix them together to look for a clean brush. I'm gonna use my little cute comp brush here. I'm actually adding this contour color just kind of like a base so it warms up my eyelids and it doesn't make it look you just blend 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 so for me you just for whatever the case you want to do, you just add uh, bronzer to it like, gets dark enough or to the point that you feel that is a good base for you. Sometimes definitely less is more. And that's gonna be one of those days. For me, it's on a Monday. I don't ever have time to do anything on a Monday. Usually, I'm lucky if I have time to do my face. Um, so I always try to do something quick and easy. I'm gonna use Tuscan Sunrise right here. I'm gonna actually use my finger, rub it. 
It's a really pretty color. This will just kind of help give you some color or life. And because we have the other tone on top, it really helps. And now I add it, so now I blend it. Next time. What I am going to do is do eyeliner and mascara. Ooh, I just forgot something. We need to use this color. This is City Lights for about a month straight. That was my go-to highlight. So I take my highlighting brush. It. You see that right there? So gorgeous. And I just, I just blend it out. Because I overdid it, as always. Well, I would say this is more like a business casual look. Take my big fluffy brush, the one I used the finishing powder. Trying to blend it down a little bit. Because it went a little bit too gold, but it's so gorgeous. You don't find that many highlights, at least in a three pack, that are this nice and blinding, and you don't need to work at them very hard. I'm going to use this brightener from Cover FX. Okay, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Sports Fix. It's supposed to, not supposed to, it last, makes your makeup last all day. It does have a very powerful spray, so you got to make sure you kind of push it back and So next, I'm going to use a Gallagher Ink Credible Eyeliner. This is and now I have some pop of color. Now, first curl. So I try to get them as close to the base as possible. And lash. Again, you see no, no, nothing. My lashes look virtually non existent. This one is very convenient. All right, I hope you guys like the look. This would have been a typical 10 minute look for me on a normal day without doing an instructional video of someone. Thank you so very much uh, for watching my video and for joining me today. Um, please let me know what you think, what can I improve? Um, any suggestions, anything you want me to actually do when it comes to tutorials? let me know down down in the comments um, subscribe bring that little bell so I can get my followers and uh, you can keep in uh, thank you so much you guys have a great day bye